Hi everybody, it's Desiree, or Des Dino. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Oren Moore Community where I'm living. Um, I'm going to start off this segment with the greenel, which is where we have planted a lot of squash this year. You can see some hollyhocks on the left. We love planting flowers with our food. It's good for the insects and the soil, biodiversity. There's a hollyhock. And then over here, we've got a grapevine traveling up the trellis. And this tunnel is made from cattle panels and tea posts. So it's pretty simple construction and it just is beautiful with all the plants growing up. And here in the background you can see our windmill where we have our well is underneath. Normally we have to hand pump, which is mainly Bunny. He's great at getting water for us so that we can survive and the plants can thrive. Although a lot of the time we also use rainwater from our rainwater catchment. But anyways, these are some squash that we have planted here. And this one needs to go up. So we kind of tie them until they start gripping on. We planted four different families of squash because we're saving seed and squash cross pollinates. We made sure to choose one variety in each of the four families because when they're in different families, they won't cross. At least they're not supposed to. So we're experimenting. We're new to seed saving, although I've saved a little bit, but we're trying to save a lot of seed this year. These, I believe, are the buttercups, but we don't have any fruit on them yet. We just have some flowers and the vines are just looking really nice, so I'm sure we'll get some fruit soon. There's one flower. We also have some cucumbers planted here. Some market more cucumbers. This one's a really good one. And then we have this one. It's coming in. And on this side of the green all, we've got some butternut squashes. Some nice flowers. Haven't seen any fruit yet, but they will be coming on shortly. Lots and lots of blooms in the morning. As you can see, they're starting to want to climb up. That one is climbing up. So that's the intention of having them in the green all, so that they can grow vertically up the trellis. This variety is a bushing variety, so it's not going to climb. The ones that climb vertically, we have a lot more of them planted, like they're planted more densely because they're going to go up so we can plant them closer together. This one is doing phenomenally. Look at that. That's great. We'll have some squash very soon. Grow little squashes. Cool. There's another little cucumber down there. Our cucumbers didn't do so well because we planted them when it was pretty hot. I mean, they were started already, but it was hot and it was not very rainy at the time. Cucumbers like a lot of moisture or a little bit of shade. So here's some squash coming in. I think this one is a tatume squash, uh, is what I had intended on planting up here. So they're doing good. And we have some cosmos coming up. That little feathery flower here. Planted a bunch of cosmos. And then, going back down the green all, I can show you some other stuff that we have planted next to it. Well, let's go this way. There's a manure pile, because we recently mucked out the goat barn. Got all the old straw and poop and pee and all that good stuff out of there, so it's going to build up the bed into some nice soil. Over here, we planted some okra. It's coming up over there, some okra. And I think some cantaloupes, but they're pretty small. 
think we need to just start bringing more water up here, even though it's been raining almost every day recently. We'll see. And then these are the kusha squash, I believe. And then here's another passion flower that's kind of making its way up here. We have these tomato cages, and instead of planting one tomato inside, sorry, that was my finger, we plant the plants around the outside so that you can plant more than one plant to each tomato cage. So this one's got some squash at it, over here, some tomatoes, lots of tomatoes, they need to be tied soon. Yep, they're doing pretty good. Doing good. Awesome, awesome. There were some little peppers in these tin cans, but they're just not growing. They're really tiny. Even when we had them in the little starter pots, they didn't want to grow. I don't know. Here's an okra that's doing really well. There it is. Hello, little okra. Grow, grow. And then over here, these are little blue beans. I'm pretty excited about these. I've never had them, but they're really pretty. They are little and blue. And on the other side, we have a row of red raspberries. Do, do, do. These are beautiful red raspberries. Cool. Well, I think that's it for the green all. And this side of the garden, we have much more to show you, but I think that'll be it for our first video.